Hey guys, today we're going to be discussing how to add custom factions to your Warlords game. We've already gone over how to add custom units to the requisition menu, you can find my video on that here. Today we're going to go over how to add custom factions to your garrisons. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Warlords Init and we're going to check the name of the factions that we're using. If you already know the names, don't worry about this step. The next thing we'll do is we'll open our config viewer and we'll go to CFG Groups. Then we're going to pick the side that the faction is usually associated with, and we're going to open up the entry for the faction that we've chosen. Once we're in here, select the class name of the units you want to use, and for each one, you're going to need to copy the config entry down the bottom, starting from the side. Then we're going to open up our mission file, and we're going to open our description EXT. We're going to add a new class after we've added the requisition preset. This one will be called CFG WL Faction Assets. Inside that, we're going to make a class for each side. And inside of each class for each side, we're going to make a class called Infantry Groups, Motorized Groups, Mechanized Groups, and Armored Groups. Inside of each one, we're going to make a variable called Groups with square brackets to signify that it's an array. Inside of that, we're going to add each of the config entries that we've found. We're going to have to do some formatting changes once we've got them all in. So for now, just paste them in as they are. Once you've got all of the units in, we're going to need to go and replace all of the quotation marks. The reason for this is that the entire thing has to be inside of quote marks and we need to use apostrophes inside of that in place of quote marks. So what we'll do is we'll do a find replace and starting from the first item that we've added, we're going to replace the quote mark with an apostrophe. Once we've replaced all these, we'll put each config entry inside of its own quotation marks. And after each entry, except for the last one, you're going to need to put a comma. Don't put a comma on the last one though, otherwise you'll get errors. Repeat this process for East and Independent, and that should be all you need to do. Unfortunately, you can't trick the game into using different factions for different sides to what they'd normally be associated to. I've given it a try and it just throws a bunch of errors. So unfortunately, you're still stuck with independent factions for the independent side. I'll include a link in the description to the Armour 3 wiki where you'll find a template that you can put into your description EXT. 